This, this seminar uh, will provide us um, good uh, headway towards um, towards uh, strengthening our linkages with the industry. And I encourage chem Department of Chemistry, in particular um, uh, Department of Chemistry, but also the whole life sciences faculty to continue doing research uh, of this sort and, and seminars to bring about experts like Dr. Sami to talk about how his research has uh, become relevant for the industry. Now, I would like to invite our first speaker, the guest speaker, Dr. Samiullah from Department of Chemistry, College of Science, King Khalid University, Saudi Arabia. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and uh, good morning. First of all, I want to say thank you to the honor Honorable Vice Chancellor uh, Professor Dr. Asghar Zaidi and uh, the Dean of Security of Chemistry uh, and Life Sciences, uh, Professor Dr. Ahmed Nant, and uh, all the organizer members and the faculty members uh, for this uh, webinar. I am thankful to you for this invitation. If you look over here, we have a fire accidents or a constant threat to men and material. And fire pro fighting process takes time for hours to days to overcome uh, the fire depending on the burning material and other circumstances the fire retardant coating can protect the substrate from heat for only a limited time most of the coating materials contain toxic halogen compounds which are currently used thermal efficiency of the coating is very low the reusable char expansion is 10 to 15 times and the char composition cannot sustain its integrity above 800 degrees celsius so uh, we, i have some photo photos for you that uh, what happened when World Trade Center was uh, being that uh, collapse in US, uh, USA 2001, Brazil Museum 2018, and Windsor Tower Madrid in 2006, public prosecution buildings Tamam 2018. So these are the uh, cons uh, constant threat uh, uh, for the buildings uh, and also for the uh, human life. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Now I would like to invite our second speaker, respected Professor Dr. Ahmed Adnan, Dean Faculty of Chemistry and Life Sciences, who will deliver the lecture on chemicals, import, substitution, present status, and future prospects. Please welcome Professor Dr. Ahmed Adnan. Uh, the title of my presentation today is uh, Chemical Import Substitution present status and future prospects. In the international market, chemicals have a share of $10 trillion annually. In 2018-19, Pakistan imported industrial chemicals of worth $2.7 billion. Uh, this is in addition to billions spent on import of petroleum products and pharmaceuticals and edible oils. So as our chief guest is with us, so being an eminent economist, I would like to request our worthy vice chancellor for precious reviews and concluding remarks regarding this international webinar on industry academia LinkedIn. So with that, I, I thank everyone again, the organizers for a very timely seminar. Uh, I know Dr. Adnan has not been well, but today he looked so much better uh, and it's good to see him active again in the department. Um, Dr. Samiullah, uh, from Saudi Arabia uh, gave a very good lecture. So it's a very good effort. You should try to do this uh, almost every week, every month. There should be activities like these so that we continue thinking about um, innovations. We continue thinking about commercialized products 
um, and in that way um, create a positive impact on our society from our research. Thank you.